Layan, where are the trees used for making the Atelier xylophone? They're right here. This is the kind of tree for making a tile xylophone. Tongue oil trees have very solid wood, which gives the wood harp a richer sound. So if we cut down the tree, we can make our wooden xylophones. Freshly cut wood cannot be used immediately because the sound quality of the instrument depends on the type of wood, length, moisture, and then the thickness. Oh, so we can't start to make the xylophone now. I thought we'd at least be able to play it today. I can make a xylophone too. My, my, I'm sure you never guessed I had my own bamboo tube rice. That's not a xylophone. The real Atile xylophone is here. Go and give it a try. The four pieces of wood that make the xylophone can play the notes re, mi, so, and la. How do the pieces of wood make different sounds then? When I look at them like this, they all look the same to me. It is because of all the different lengths. There are air molecules all around us. Sound is created when a vibrating object causes vibration in the air around it. This then creates sound waves. When these sound waves finally reach our ears, we can hear the sound that they make. In the same amount of time, a shorter object will vibrate more times, so the vibration frequency is much, much higher, which creates a higher pitched sound. A longer object will vibrate fewer times, so the vibration frequency is much lower, which results in a lower pitched sound. Therefore, different lengths of wood produce different sound pitches. In addition to length, the density and the thickness of the material will also affect the sound pitch. Oh, so that's how it works. But, um, how do you play a song then? Let me have a go. 